play them all the time, so I'm kind of used to them. I know they like to shoot. They like to get all the buckets, so I just try my best to contain them. He fought through ball screen, any kind of screen you can imagine, and uh, he made it very difficult for one of the better players in the state of Ohio to uh, get going. And uh, I thought that was the key to the game is uh, we uh, we limited transition baskets. We start rebound the ball after the first quarter. And we uh, we got Jackson under control a little bit from the, the last three quarters. And he got us points, but he had to work hard for it. And again, I just told the guys in the locker room, win or lose, I'd have been proud of these guys because they fought, they kicked, they clawed. And uh, they did all the right things that winning teams do that are used to winning. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Lorraine High is, uh, uh, we're definitely uh, playing good basketball right now. He, you know what, uh, we, we, we need him to get back, and he is though. You know, he's making shots for us, and honestly, uh, he's not 100%, but he's giving us everything he has. You know, and he's going out like a senior supposed to. That's big, Jalil. He's a starter again, like I said. He's one of our toughest guys. He's a senior, our second leading scorer, and he came and he did what he was supposed to do. He had uh, eight, nine stitches. Just got the stitches out yesterday, and uh, there's no doubt he's going to play. I mean, come on, he's, he's going out there. And, uh, again, it just epitomized what we, what we preach here. Just be tough, be hard-nosed, and uh, when you do that with talent, be coachable, and uh, you win a lot of games.